So let's go through each of these. Uh, the first time I think you can make is conversion. And we're going to draw a conversion diagram that is going to match the conversion diagrams you've seen before for the metric system. Do you remember those? You remember when you went from millimeters to centimeters to meters, meters to megameters? Before megameters? Kilometers. Kilometers. I mean, I think it is a thing, but who, who does it? Anyway, okay. So you remember we drew that with the four bubbles? Do you remember that? Okay. We're going to draw one with bubbles today as well. But it's going to have a lot more bubbles. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bubbles. I want you to draw them in a very particular way. So watch this with me. You're going to need the whole length, um, or rather width, of your page. So this is what mine looks like, okay? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me make sure I did that right. Perfect, okay. So, I'm just gonna deal with the very most common units. There are other ones that exist apart from these, but these are just the common ones you're gonna need to convert between. The smallest one I'm gonna start with, remember we're thinking common units. Anyone wanna suggest? What was that heading again? Oh, time. time. Smallest yeah, unit? Like Seconds. Seconds. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, there are smaller time units than seconds, but they're not that common. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about milliseconds or nanoseconds, etc. Okay. So after seconds, I'm gonna get bigger from here on. This is the smallest one. I'm gonna get bigger. What's bigger than seconds? Minutes. Minutes. Very good. Okay. Oh, hold on. Pause for a second. Now this diagram, because it's got so many bubbles on it, um, it's gonna get pretty busy. So you know, on the one you did with four bubbles on it, we were converting up. And we we're also converting down. Do you remember that? Yeah. But because, like you guys get, it's times and divide, I'm just going to put one set of arrows here. Okay? So I'm just going to put the arrow converting downwards. And you guys can sort of understand the opposite one is just division. Okay? So how many seconds in a minute? 60. 60. So to go from minutes to seconds, if I said to you two minutes, how many seconds is that? That's... 120, because you multiply by 60. Do you get it? Yeah? Okay, now I think I already heard what's the third unit up, which was hours. Very good. Okay, now from hours to minutes, again, what's the multiplication? Times by 60. Okay, now just a quick question before I get to your question, Nikhil. Um, 60. The metric system, which we already established how freaking awesome it is, it's all about tens, right? So why do you think they picked 60 for time? Why do we pick 60? Yeah. Isn't it because like, there's like a circle like through the 60 or whatever, something like that? Okay, so a circle does have 360 degrees, but the reason it's 360 degrees begs the question, like why, why that number, okay? Do we have any other suggestions for why 60 is a really useful number to pick? What do you reckon, Ed? Um, um, it's because, like, um, it takes... Okay, all right. Hands down for a second, because I do have lots of other things I want to get to. Let me just give you the suggestion. You've seen this before, right? 60 is a cool number, because you want to divide up 60 into even parts. You can divide it lots of ways. You can obviously divide it in two, evenly. Right? You can divide it into three. You can divide it into four and five and six and ten and twelve and fifteen. You can divide it in lots and lots of very convenient ways. Okay? So sixty is useful, right? What's after hours? Yeah. Days. Very good. Days. Right? So how many hours in a day? Twenty-four. Okay, now pause for a second. Here's where it starts to get a little bit tricky. You notice I've arranged my bubbles in kind of an unusual way. Like, why is this guy off the side? Why is this guy down here? I'll get to that. This next few, I'm going to go through them um, in order rather than ask you because it'll be more efficient that way. From days, I can go to a whole bunch of different kinds of units. And you know what these all are. They're very common. But for reasons that will become clear very shortly, I'm going to go to weeks. How many days in a week? We know this. Seven. Good. The next one I'm going to go to is when you have a pair of weeks, right? We call that a fortnight. fortnight. So if I write fortnight here, 
it's pretty natural to say, because I said a pair, right? To go from fortnight to weeks, you would multiply by two. However, there's something else I want to add on to here, right? Because you guys know, you've been with me long enough. You know I'm absolutely obsessed with names, right? Fortnights are not called fortnights because they're two weeks. Just look at the diagram for a second. You can probably guess, because I did. So very close. Fortnights are called fortnights because they are 14 nights. Right? So close. So very close. They're not called fort days, they're called fortnights. Okay? So, and you can see why, right? Because look, you multiply by 2, and then you multiply by 7, well that multiplies by 14. Yes? Okay, so that looks good. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone has in their mind what they think would be the most logical next step. Don't say it. I'm actually going to skip over it. You'll see why shortly. I'm going to go straight to years. Okay. Now, you're like, well, why, why did you do that? Okay. Um, let me try and justify this for you. Okay. Um, years are weird. Years are weird. Um, all of these guys all fit together in a sort of lockstep way. That's why I have them all bound, okay? Um, what is the definition of a day, by the way? Because even though I started with seconds, it's actually starting with days. What's the definition of a day? Um, the period of time the earth spins around on its axis. Like how Perfect. Long yeah, the yeah very good. Excellent. So the earth's spinning around, right? Right? It's spinning around. And we just say, let's call a day the time that that takes to happen. Okay, and everything else off of here is perfectly built off these. Okay, but years, years have nothing to do with the Earth spinning, right? Spinning on a spot. What do years have to do with Christian? On how long it takes you to orbit the sun. Very good. So you have the sun in the middle of the solar system, right? And then you have the Earth, and it's doing this weird spinning thing, but it's also moving in a path around the Earth. By the way, what's that path called? It starts with an O. Orbit. It's called an orbit. Very good. Okay, so. These two things, right? This spinning on the spot and this orbit, they don't have anything to do with each other, right? Like they're not connected in any way. Like for example, if, I, if there was like some huge alien out there in outer space, they could like grab a hold of the earth, stop it spinning, so it's not going to do that anymore, but it can keep on going around the sun and that's just fine. These two ideas, they're not connected in an integral way, the way these guys are connected, right? But we still want to count them up. I want to come up. So how many days do we say there are in a year? Usually, how many do we say? Beth? Very good. So this is really important. I want you to write, usually, usually, you'd multiply by 365. Okay, Brad? Okay, now, then comes the fact that, remember I pointed out to you, these guys aren't actually connected, right? They're not actually connected. So it's not like um, January 1, there's a sunrise, okay? And then on the very last day of the year, we've, on, the, on the sunset, we've, or not sunset, midnight, whatever it is, you've come back to the exact same point. You haven't come back to the exact same point. What you've come pretty close to is, and I actually don't want you to write it down because I'll tell you why in a second. It comes pretty close to 365 days and a quarter. Okay, now that quarter is important because that's why we have leap years, right? Every leap year, they're like, well, you've done four extra quarters, right? So that's why we add a day. The reason why I'm not asking you to write it down, because it's not a quarter either, right? It's not like it's exactly a quarter. It's actually 0.25, blah, 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 some extra bits. So in fact, there aren't just leap years. There are leap centuries. They, they sort of fix up. In fact, um, I believe, someone can check this off the, off the top of my um, head I'm doing it. Leap years? Which are the leap years? Which which years are leap years? All years divided by four. All years divided by four. So this year, a year. was a leap year, right? It, so but not all of the years divisible by four are leap years. Does anyone know which ones get taken out? Does anyone know? I think from memory, it's the start or the end of every century. So 2000 was not a leap year. Um, 2100. If, we're if any of this is still around, that won't be a leap year, 2200, etc. Okay? So, uh, yeah, yeah. So 365.25, that's not exact either. You can't, you can't do anything exact because these aren't connected. So that's why I say usually. Okay? 
Uh, that same usually idea connects to weeks, right? Usually, how many weeks do we say there are in a year? 52. 52. Usually. We should know that. However, if you want it to be more precise, sometimes the number you'll see is 52.18. But even that is not exact. You can tell it's approximated, yeah? Um, there's one more usually I'm going to put on there. Fortnite, you can help me work this out. 26. Usually, it should be 26, because it's half as many weeks. Yes. Okay, there's one last bubble, and there's one last time unit I haven't mentioned, and that, of course, is months. Very good. Now, I put months over here, right down the bottom, because they're super weird. Uh, how many months in a year, guys? 12. We know this, but, but... Months don't play along with anyone else, okay? How many days are there in a month? 30. Answer, always different. Every single time, right? Uh, how many weeks are there in a month? Answer, always different. No, it's not four. Because four weeks is 28 days, right? There's four weeks in a bit, and it's always a different bit, right? It's like 30, 30, yeah, yeah. Okay, you get the idea. So you see, you can't convert neatly from months to days, months to weeks, months to four. You can't convert from anything to months except for years. So that's why he's down there on the bottom.